Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to improve or optimize the AutoCAD performance. First, let me tell the some of the common known issues in AutoCAD performance issues. Commands run slowly or hang after executed, object selection lag. Many people told me that the mouse movements are slow and skips the snap point. Program crashes unexpectedly or freezes. Drawing files are slow to open. Files take a long time to regenerate during the drawing navigations. The graphic cards are not supporting or they are outdated. Sometimes a corrupted file might also affect the performance. If you are facing any of these issues or your CAD is generally slow, then stay tuned. We are going to fix every known issues in AutoCAD. Having said that, let's get started. <laughs> Let me first address the display issue in AutoCAD. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the artifacts that when I zoom in and zoom out, there is a big black screen at the bottom of my screen. To fix that, type graphics config in the command box. Turn on hardware acceleration and change the display settings from advanced mode to basics. Some of you might have to turn this off completely. If turning off didn't help, then turn on back and change the display settings to basics. And make sure that you turned off all these three options. Click OK. Yeah, that is sorted now. Installing the latest AutoCare updates, such as enhancement updates or Hotfixes will most of the time fix any of the AutoCAD performance issues. To do that, go to Start menu, search Autodesk Desktop app, open that, click on My Updates. You will have all the available updates for all the product that you have installed. Or if you want to go through each individual product, then you can do that by clicking on that particular version over here. So for AutoCAD 2022, I have 0.1 update. Installing this update will fix a couple of crashes and defects reported in Autodesk community. I'll close this. Next, clear the AutoCAD graphics cache by typing cache max files. Press enter, set the value to zero, and then restart AutoCAD. After you restart AutoCAD, type cache max file again, set the value back to 256, and again restart your AutoCAD program. Sometimes the network connection may be uh, causing the performance issues. So what you need to do is disconnect from your uh, Wi-Fi or LAN, run few commands and then reconnect back. Next thing, go to Windows run command. So the shortcut is Windows R or you can go to your start menu and search run now type the following run operation so as you can see i don't have much temp files so whatever you have in this particular folder delete them So next thing is resetting AutoCAD to its default options. So if you are not using uh, any custom user interface, as you can see, I don't have the ribbon. If you are wondering where it is, I have turned that on, off. So if you want to turn it back, type ribbon. Yeah, there I have. 
So I don't use any of these because I know most of the commands shortcut. So I, pref I prefer uh, more uh, workspace than having this huge ribbon, which I don't use very often. So uh, if you are not using any custom user interface, then uh, I would highly recommend you to reset your AutoCAD to default. However, if you are before you, you are resetting, you can take the backup of your current user interface. So to do that, go to Start Menu, click on All Apps, then find the right version, scroll down, and click on Reset Settings to Default. So at the moment, I have my AutoCAD currently running, so I can't do that. So resetting your AutoCAD will uh, reset all the settings to its default state which will uh, fix most of the issues that you have or you might have accidentally turned on a couple of uh, system variables or you might have changed the system variables unknowingly so resetting AutoCAD to its stock version will help you to sort of those issues next thing uh, we have already seen uh, enabling hardware accelerations so as I showed you in the beginning, uh, type graphics config in the command box or click on these three uh, stripes at the bottom right corner, then enable graphics performance. So now I, I can directly turn on off from here. So if you right click on that, you can get into the graphics performance settings. So uh, switch uh, turning on and off will fix most of the issues. If you are turning it on, then make sure that you set this to basic mode. Next, I would like to cover how you can optimize your drawing files. So uh, let me open uh, any of my drawings. I will open this one. Okay. So first thing you need to do is purge your drawing file. So type purge in the command box. Enable all the available options. At the moment, I don't have zero length geometry because it does not exist in the drawing. If you get this uh, option, then make sure that you enable that as well. And click on purge all. And select purge all checked items. So I haven't checked any of this before so make sure you select all of them and purge all so also you notice you can notice that I don't have my command box at the bottom if you want to bring it back type in command command line this will restore your restore your command line so let me pull this up a bit. So as you can see, I don't have any orphaned data and it has purged this particular elevation block or line. Yeah, this particular object in this drawing. If you are having very complex or a huge drawing, a large file, then it is uh, essential that you uh, maintain your drawing well. So make sure that you purge your drawing now and then so let me pull this bit down okay so next command is audit type audit in the command box press enter fix any errors yes type y so as you can see it found two and it fixed two errors so uh, i have seen a drawing which had thousands of errors and uh, after auditing the file uh, the performance was much much better so next thing is very important okay so what this does is this will remove all the duplicate uh, elements in your drawing any overlapping elements so type overkill to select all the objects you can either drag and select or just type all in the command box press enter again you don't have to change any of these settings keep it as default click on ok so uh, it has poor overkilled four five overlapping objects or the segments in the drawing okay 
So we have now optimized our drawing. If you're still having issues with your drawing, then there are a couple of other commands which will help you to fix that as well. So let me turn on my file tab before we do that. So go to view, enable file tab from here or just type in file tab, in the command box. Okay. So the first command is export to AutoCAD. You can specify the format here. So I'm gonna save it in 2018. Now enter the file name. File name now and press enter to save the file. So then you can open that file and start working in that. Next command is DXF out. So type DXF out in the command box. So now you can directly save your file as DXF and then open the file and save that as DWG file. Okay, so we have seen how we can optimize or, or maintain our drawing. Type W block in the command box. Hit enter. So now you can directly save the selected objects as a new drawing. So you can either save this as a block or objects or you can directly select here the entire drawing. So I would recommend you to save this as objects and you can click on this to uh, specify the file location and the version of the file and save this. Next thing that you can do to improve your drawing file performance is that to move all the drawings to uh, or closer to UCS. In your drawing, you will have the XYZ axis, which is called UCS icon. I have turned that off. So you can turn that on back in the view tab. So make sure that your drawing is closer to this. So if it's far from the UCS origin point, then try to move it closer to the Somewhere like this, yeah. The final step which I wanted to show you guys is that how to configure your AutoCAD software to use high performance graphics in Windows 10. Go to Windows Start menu, go to Settings, Search Graphics, then go to Graphic Settings. So as you can see, I have already added AutoCAD application. Let me show you how to do that. So I'll remove these two first. So make sure that it is set to classic app. Click browser. Now go back to Windows Start menu. Type AutoCAD. Right click on the version that you want to add. Go to file location. Again, right click on AutoCAD shortcut, go to file location and copy this file path. Yeah. Paste that over here, click add. Select ACAD execution application file. Now go to options, select high performance and save. That's it guys. This is how you optimize or improve your AutoCAD performance. I hope you liked it. If yes, make sure that you like and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Cheers.